Alright guys, nearly time to have my first proper meal for the day. I'm feeling very hungry. I've had a coffee, some BCAAs, some chicken breasts, a lollipop, and some protein bites. So I've had about 500 calories. Um, fuck all actual sustenance, so I'm feeling quite depleted. I did train this morning, and I've probably walked like three or four k's today, so definitely feeling like a good meal. I'm gonna cook up some kangaroo meatballs and rice. So I'm looking to have 50 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs, and then I'll have the leftovers uh, later on today. Really can't be fucked going to work tomorrow. Right? <sighs> My room is an absolute fucking pigsty. So the first thing I have to do today is to clean this bitch. So that's what we're gonna do. And then, after I've done that, I've actually taken the day off work today. I, <laughs> I didn't get fuck all done yesterday that, that I needed to. And with you know this property settlement coming up uh, really soon, as well as a trip to New Zealand, I need to get some things sorted. I need to get some things done. And um, I was only going to do that if I took a day off. I've probably got another five or six days in a row after today at work. So I was like, fuck it, you know, um, that's what sick days are for. It's not for when you're sick. Come on, man. <laughs> I go to work when I'm sick. Anyways, I need to sort this shit out. shit in your pockets. Is something I procrastinate over every single fucking day. Don't know about you guys. But anyways, I'm gonna follow on with this and go and clean my car. Cause that <laughs> that has to be done for sure. That's looking embarrassingly bad. Alright, there's so much fucking shit in my car. I'm gonna need two bags. Jesus Christ, I think I got my whole gym bag plus some on the floor in my car. Hat, 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 straps, headphones, socks, towel, wraps, strap, towel, Shoes, singlet, fucking hell. Don't judge. Alright, guys, so before I do head off to actually clean the outside of my car, 
which I'm going to do, which will make me feel very good. The, the house is relatively clean. I've got a clean bedroom, clean car, and then I'll be ringing uh, the real estate agent and the fucking conveyancer and the bank manager. <laughs> Those three names I've become very, very familiar with lately. So, oh, but still stressful. Anyways, we got a shaker full of ice, as you guys know. Now, at the moment, I don't have any amino energy left, which is my go-to sort of caffeine drink. So what I'm doing is I'm mixing one scoop of gold standard pre-workout, uh, even when I'm not working out. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. It's just a gimmick anyway. It's a fucking pre-workout is going to give you energy any time of the day that you need it. So I have caffeine first thing in the morning, especially when I'm fasting. Now last night, I could have completely fucked up my diet, man. What I, It was bloody dangerous. I went and prepped um, probably like all of today's food. I prepped it yesterday. And this was last night at probably like midnight. And I was thinking, fuck, you know, I could start eating this right now. Like I have, what do I got? I've got this little lunchbox thing. Now it looks a bit gay, but inside... We've got, I'll show you guys. We've got my carbs for today. So 250 grams of rice split into two and 80 grams of oats uh, mixed with some peanut butter and some other shit. Who's this? My sister. What's up? What's the favour? What's the favour? Um, I need to just about to go and have lunch with Renee. What are you doing? I'm just about to come into town too. I've got a day off. Oh, okay. Well, let's all meet up then. Come to Glory D. Alright. Yep. Okay, because we'll be sitting outside or inside or whatever, but we'll be there. Yeah, alright then. Sounds good. Okay, I'll see you soon. Sweet. See ya. Bye. Bye. Well, looks like I'm going for lunch with my sister. Anyways, as you guys saw, I just about cracked into all this food last night. Are you going to stay there? Come on, mate. Come on. So, <laughs> which clearly would have set me up for failure today. Because it would have felt like shit and I wouldn't have had any carbs to eat. And yeah, so that looks absolutely delicious to me right now. But we're going to put it away. I've also got uh, three, 300 grams of chicken breast that I've just ripped off the chicken. Um, that's in there. So I'll be using that with the rice. And I also have... Fuck. Man, we're getting low. Shit. Oh, I've only got one tin of tuna then. So I definitely need to go shopping. We are we're uh, getting to the bare minimum, but that's all right. So right now I'm going to go into town. I'm going to meet my sister, obviously. Uh, cleaning the car can wait, and I'll see you guys back here. Uh, whenever I suppose. I'm still going to have. I'll probably get a coffee with my sister, so I'm just going to have half a scoop of this. It's just 80, 80 milligrams of caffeine, just to give me a <laughs> give me a boost, a little boost. And what I was going to say is that I don't I don't actually rate the taste of Gold Standard Pre Workout. I think there's too many other ingredients other than flavouring in there, so the flavour sort of gets washed out by sort of like flavourless powder sort of thing. It's it's not very strong in flavour, so. I've got BCAA's Core ABC in Apple Teeny, which is apple, and it's fucking delicious. So I'll put half a scoop of this, because this is actually quite strong in flavor. So we've got half each, and that makes pineapple, apple, pre-workout, BCAA drink, which I've been having most mornings. But I will get some more of this in grape and watermelon, as per usual. I really love this shit. 
the flavour is awesome and you don't need too much um, to get that flavour because you don't want too many scoops because every two scoops that you put in has 100 milligrams of caffeine and you know I pretty much never put more than two scoops in a drink so put it that way but anyways guys I am actually really looking forward to seeing my sister and Renee for lunch that's gonna be good so I'm gonna go and do that and I'll check in with you guys later on. Let's do this shit. <laughs> that's a um, that's that's from Rich Piana's videos, by the way. If you didn't know, yeah. Alice Springs turning it on once again. If you don't know, now you know, man. You want blue sky every single day. Come to Alice Springs. <laughs> All right. I'm off to go meet the girls. <sighs> Biggest car park in Alice Springs. Huge, man. Huge. What up? What up? Oh, hey. Oh, hey. What's up? <laughs> Got my beats. I was wondering why you were smiling and I was like, why is he laughing? Is there something wrong? Brad. Brad? Got the camera. Mm. Alright, what are you having? Uh, it's a, like a slushy yum. Iced tea. Blended really? Ice. Yeah, Any caffeine? Really cool. No, I've already had my caffeine. I've had three shots already. So I can't have it. Well, I'm going to get some caffeine in me. Yeah, get a vanilla chiller with an extra shot. Yesterday was the first time I got to the gym. Oh, what is this? A very vanilla chiller with an extra shot on, on soy milk. Very vanilla chiller with an extra shot on soy milk. Yeah. Good, hey? Yum. Decent. Small, too, so. I wonder how many calories, so what's your guess in one of these? Uh, it's about 1,800 kilojoules. Oh, is it? Well, maybe not on soy, Hang but on. when it's on full fat. What's it, what's it called again? A vanilla chip. I'd very maybe vanilla say fifteen hundred kilojoules. Yeah. Let's see. Oh wow! Gloria Jean's small very vanilla chiller. Yeah. Two hundred and sixty-eight calories. That's alright. That's alright. It's worth it. Right, so just dropped off my sister and I'm going back to the bank, uh, my Westpac branch this time, to get statements so then I can take it back to Police Credit Union, which is my home loan bank, and finally put together this application and send it off for good. So that's what I'm doing now. Any parks? No, of course not. So I'll just park up, go and get those, take them back, and then I'll be cleaning my car. Finally, I'm gonna do it. If I don't do it today, I'm gonna be really fucked off. But nah, it's gonna happen. So I will just find a park somewhere here, and then go to the bank. That'll do. Done. Statements. Back to the bank. And actually, the way the way I've structured, um, you know, my banking, I've kept my personal banking and my home loan banking completely separate on purpose, so that you know, when I am putting in applications like this, um, and I'm not where I thought or where I need to be financially. Uh, the home loan lender doesn't know so I basically show him what I want to show him what I have to show him not everything so that's how I've structured it so I've just gone to Westpac got the statements now I'm going back to police credit union 
and giving him those he's got the contract and then everything will be sent off to the lending people and I should hear back early next week but I'm not worried it's all G it's all G all right I'm just off home haven't cleaned the car yet it's gonna happen I swear but I'm too hungry I've got to go home and have something to eat so I did actually just check my post office box and I got this which is a confirmation of my landlord's insurance um, which I set up the other day so that'll start from the 15th of April and settlement happens on the 22nd of April so it's just it's a week before um, I think they had uh, I think it was 30 30 days following the signing of the contract that um, that policy started and settlement was 30 business days after signing the contract which I actually did by accident so I gave myself another another seven or eight days worth of you know leeway until settlement happens by, by accident I was told to put 30 days down from from um, contract date and uh, I put 30 business days down so looking back now that could have actually uh, you know lost me the deal but the owner sort of didn't realize either and I got myself an extra week so I'm just heading home now I'm gonna have 125 grams of brown rice with 150 grams of chicken breast with some barbecue sauce smash that down make myself up another uh, drink of BCAAs and then I'll be heading back into town to probably didn't need to do that heading back into town to finish off my tasks for the day right, actually before I eat lucky I fucking made this list because I actually haven't done any of it nearly completely forgot I need to actually pay for this pest and building inspection so then I can be sent the bloody sent the report so then I can pay this 10 grand so I'm gonna call them up now and get that paid for when my phone's charged. Fuck. All right, fuck it, I'm eating. I'm hungry. Chicken and rice never tasted so good. So hopefully, I can stick to my plan and just eat one, one of these. No oats, oats can come in later. But, I am freaking starving. Haven't weighed myself. I'm kind of scared to weigh myself. I know, I know I'm going to be making progress, but you know, you never know what what's going to come up on the scale. So, at the moment, when I'm feeling positive, I don't need to weigh myself. I can see myself getting leaner and tightening up. So, it's all good. I'm going by the mirror at the moment. But my phone fucking come on. God, this fucking phone takes so long to freaking. You know, when you really just want to get something done on your phone, but it's like taking ages to load it. It's annoying, man. Missed call, Dave. Do you still want an insurance quote for your contents? Yes, Dave. Yes, I do. Ah, uh, yeah. I got a pest and building inspection done yesterday on a property um, on Secondary Street. Right. Yes. Um, I need to pay for it so I can receive it. Oh, sure. Okay. So you want to pay by credit card, are you? Yeah. Okay, yep, number is 4564. Four. Cool, so yeah, um, what was what was the story with that? I go on the, the website, is yeah, it? Yeah, um, you'll get an email with your user ID oh, and yeah. the password, so yeah, okay, so you just log on to our website, it's got all the details on the email anyway. Cool, alright then. Great, thanks. Thank Bye. you, see ya. Alright, so that's that done. Once that comes through and I have a look at it, I will give the real estate agent a call to say that everything's sweet, 
Pest and building is done. There's no pests in my house. There's no massive cracks down the walls. There's no damp. Because those things are things, especially sight unseen, that you don't want to get fucked over with. So everything looks good, but we will know for sure in about half an hour. So I'm going to eat the rest of this. Just watching a leg of the Gaines Tour by Massive Joes. Don't know if you guys like this shit, but uh, we're about to watch some cunt bench one, 190. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go! 190! 100 kgs more than me! Up! 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 Jesus Christ, that does not look good. There ain't no fucking way in hell I'm ever going to be able to bench that. But anyways, the inspection is not going to be uploaded for an hour, so I can't check it until then, so it's off to the car wash. I'm going to clean this motherfucker. Never actually realised how clean this beard looks. Look at that shit. Get some light up in this bitch. Don't know about that side, but this side looks clean as fuck. Alright, that's that part. Which one of you guys are going to hurry the fuck up and finish cleaning your car? I'm going to have to do something about this too. That's shocking, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez. Don't judge me, please. Done. Just lis listening to a bit of a disturbed sound of silence. If you haven't heard dis Disturbed's version of Sound of Silence, which I'm sure you have, uh, it's fucking sick. Epic. So, I really enjoyed that. Alright, one clean car. Finally. Feels like it's a new car. I got the service yesterday. She's running good, beautiful. So I've got a good car to go away on holiday to, from, and come back to. Because there's nothing worse than having stresses about your fucking car, is there? There really isn't. <laughs> it's such a head fuck. So, uh, what am I doing now? I'm going home, get this fucking inspection report, and all the rest of it. I'm sure you guys know by now. Sorry I'm rambling on about it. I actually. It's good making these vlogs because I'm actually reminding myself of what I need to do on, on a particular day. Because, uh, shit, I've got a habit of forgetting things. Whoops. Anyways. Let's go.